Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back to the Dippity Doc Depths of YouTube. Sorry if you made it here. You might regret it. And if you're new to these parts, I'm an online reseller for the past 12 years, mostly on eBay, a little bit of Amazon, a little Mercari, a little bit there, that, a little bit of this, there, and everywhere in between. If you choose to stick around and hang out with me in this video, we're going to one of my favorite places to find inventory, and we're going to a church sale. Why do I love church sales? Well, church sales usually are full of communities crap that they just dump on the church. It's actually a thrift store located inside of a church, and church sale, be it a thrift store or just church community sale, bargain prices where people are just trying to get rid of their stuff. Usually it's for a good cause and it's a whole community's worth of stuff in one place. And tell me down in the comments, where out in the wilds do you like to source the stuff that you sell? And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to break everything down into real numbers. I'm going to break it down into an hourly salary of today's finds out in the wilds. So that said, let's get onto this church sale where I do, in fact, sell my soul. Just kidding, the selling fees on that would be way too high. Well, maybe not for my soul, but you know. And there it is, as haunting as it is beautiful. There's a thrift store in the bottom of this beautiful church. So let's get inside. Limited hours, as you can see here. Three days a week, just a few hours, which is amazing. Then I see this Kiss Puppy book as soon as you get inside. A good reminder, if you haven't kissed your puppy, it makes you feel good, makes the puppy feel good, makes the whole world a better place. And this is their shelf of treasures, much like a thrift store might put stuff behind a glass case. This is what they do here, is just put on the bookshelf. And I see this little Star Wars guy peeking out from the bushes here, as he would, this little Ewok. Never saw it out in the wilds before. I thought it might have some value. It's a Plaws brand, which is hit or miss, depending on the item. Ten bucks for this thing, which was a lot, especially when it's only selling for about 10 to 15 bucks. So I left that. I thought this would be a good score. I saw this old, anytime you see these vintage Power Ranger stuff, you can get a little excited like I did here. But unfortunately... It doesn't really sell for that much. 20, 25, 30 bucks at most. When it's selling for 18, I put it back on the shelf. But I could have swore that might be a, a fun little thing. Small store. I'm standing here in the middle and I can see all the walls. And uh, this is the grand tour of the place. There is this little room in the back here, which has some fun stuff, the kids stuff, the, the media and game. So we'll go back there in a minute. After I look through these hats, I see these green hats here. And if you know green hats uh, for, like me, then you know you're looking at maybe John Deere. To find some old vintage John Deere, you can get $100, $200, $300 hats. Even the lesser ones, you can still get $20, $25. Bucks. So keep an eye out for those John Deere hats. I do find a real cool treasure hidden down here. An old Miami Dolphins hat for a buck. And vintage. Yeah, and this was a, a sports specialties brand hat that's definitely something that collectors look out for this one's really clean which is nice minimal yellow going on but these things fetch 15 to 100 dollars easy low end 50 dollars i sold this one for seven seventy dollars and it sold in a matter of uh, 48 hours and, and only paid a buck i found this patriots this is definitely not vintage i don't know what kind of style this hat is I'm going to hold on to this until the fall when football season and try to get uh, sell it then, which I'll probably get a few more bucks. I'm also going to wear it and I'm going to make this face until football starts. Wish me luck. And we're going back to this section with toys and games and dreams coming true. And let's look at the media here. I'm looking for anything new and there's not a lot of a selection, but I do find this Star Wars brand new sealed three bucks. I'm going to sell this on Amazon. It's selling for 29 bucks. I'm going to make 15 plus dollars on this sucker. I do look at the VHS here. Anytime I see Disney, I'm looking for the Holy Grail cars, the Pixie, uh, Pixar Disney VHS cars. That was the last one they produced. So it has a high collector value over a thousand dollars a season for a used copy. And I love selling board games. As you know, you've been here to this channel before. I love selling board games used and new on Amazon. Two bucks for this. I'm going to make 10 plus dollars on that sucker. These stuffies, for some reason, I thought they had value. I mean, they're really nice, high quality. They're they're big. I'm an adult and I want to cuddle with one of these things. I thought they had value. They're asking five bucks at the thrift store. And I thought it was a reasonable deal because I thought they'd sell for like 30 bucks, but I'm wrong. They only sell 10 to $20 and that's including shipping. So I left those behind. I could not believe how how cheap those things those things were it's a nice day let's head out to salvation army this salvation army was easily the biggest salvation army and possibly thrift store than i have ever seen i mean there's 50 60 70 clothing racks it's just insanity i was with my mother this day and she was bored by the time i got to the back wall so i didn't want to uh make her suffer anymore 
So I, I went straight over to the media section. I'll come back to this store because there's probably a lot of cool stuff hanging out on these shelves, a lot of great clothes. So I find the book section here in just a second, and I didn't find a single book that I wanted to to try and sell. And True Salvation style, stuff's just kind of thrown everywhere. Find these Winnie the Pooh VHS. If you can find these for cheap enough, 25 cents out in the wilds maybe, or lot them up and get a decent price, you can lot them up yourself on eBay. Maybe you can get 10 of them and get 20, 25 bucks for these. I left these behind as they were asking for a dollar. Corona Extra, anytime I see this big logo on swim trunks, especially with spring and summer coming up, I definitely uh, bought these for two bucks. You can get about 16, 17 dollars uh, for those Corona. And then I find this uh, DVD set, which for five bucks, and I can sell it on, on eBay for about 35 and make a little bit of a profit in this beautiful day. And we're going to say, uh, see you later, Salvation Army. Looking forward to seeing your disastrous shelves next time. Goodwill, this is the, uh, the, the where inflation began. And pretty pathetic game section there. I did walk by this mirror. Didn't think it had much value. This uh, vintage Snoopy mirror, $7.99 seemed kind of expensive. And I did put it back because I was just like, there's no way this mirror has much value. I did find this next to it on Amazon. This thing's asking it $12 at Goodwill, but thankfully it sells for 30 on Amazon. I still picked it up. I went back to the mirror because I broke my rule. If I'd never saw something before, then I have to look it up. And I'm glad I did because it sells for about $35 to $40. Yeah, I was shocked. This hat, again, $10 is a lot for, for a hat, but it is new and it has a lot of nice stitching and, and embroidery inside. So I looked it up and I'm glad I did. Even at that $10 price point, I was able to sell this $35. And buy Goodwill, maybe you can not have such high prices next time. Let's talk numbers. Invested, $43. Gross sales, $271. That's not including the Patriots hat. Shipping fees, selling fees, supplies, gonna cost me about $88. Net profit today is about 140 bucks. Now, I'm not a pro. I do put 15% of my net profits. That's $21 aside for following tax season. Again, I'm not a pro. Don't listen to me. Travel, list, pack, ship. It was about 45 minutes round trip to these places. List is another half hour. Packing and shipping this stuff's about another half hour. Leaving an hourly wage about $93. You take that $21 that I put aside for taxes and we're talking about a $79 an hour day. And I'll take that every time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys out in the wild. Oh, 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 oh,